I'm Marissa Sarbach reporting from a neighborhood in North Phoenix tonight where one woman tells us her campaign signs were stolen directly out of her front yard, not once, but twice. I had a uh, Harris Walls and a Vote Blue sign right here on the corner. And I came out Sunday morning and discovered the signs were gone and there was a big pile of dog poop in my driveway. And it wasn't just a, a one or two. I mean, this was like a, like a half a bucket of dog poop that was dumped into my driveway. Mary had a police report filed on October 6th. She decided to put up new signs, but on October 8th, those were stolen too. Her neighbor's ring camera recorded it, but this time a nasty letter was left behind. Eight paragraphs, Eight paragraphs and it ends with profanity. Ending with profanity. Oh, there's profanity throughout it. Mary says another resident near her also received this letter and had her campaign signs stolen. A third resident tells us his signs were stolen off his front lawn about a week ago. He decided to do something about it. And I put up this little display um, right around my security camera so that, like, if you want them now, Come give me a nice good face shot and we'll turn it over to the police for you know enforcement. Mark posted the theft online, expecting angry political comments, but to his surprise, he found support across party lines. It just irritated me that somebody decided to steal stuff off of my house. Not their house, my house. These aren't the only campaign sign incidents as of late in the valley. Scottsdale police shared this video of a man on a bike slicing political signs at the intersection of Hayden and Sweetwater. No arrests have been made, but police stress stealing or defacing campaign signs is against the law. As for the residents in North Phoenix, Mary says she's angry, not scared, and she'll be putting her signs back up no matter how many times they're taken down. And I'm just asking you to stop and respect my right to my free speech. I respect yours. Absolutely, I respect yours. I might not like it, but I respect it. Marissa Sarbach, reporting for Arizona Tonight.